Alrighty. <coughs> Moving back over into Kratom Days 3. So, we're going to begin into the thing, evolving stuff, and going for freedom. The free booms, rather. Anyway, before we get into that, we're going to read some shit. New messages for mankind. Ow. An arm. The strange circumstances around us now. In the wake of the great void, the old world lies now decaying like the blue corpse that is. Yet the new world thrashes against its change to be born. But now have the anarchy and ash, the angels of humanity have risen. Calling out for a world of a new dawn for all mankind. The way of centuries will disappear as we march towards onwards to a new tomorrow where no man shall suffer. Indeed. No man, oh man. Man, man, even. That's a fear. Meet him over here, we got all these motherfuckers. All of these motherfuckers out over in the here, and it's going to be quite over here. At least we don't got to deal with. Why do we public? We got to deal with the closest of the people we got in here. Because who, oh boys, is going to be a hell of a thing. Oh yeah, it's fair to go over here. I think you're gonna. I think you can also be a leader as well. Over there, whenever. Uh, Oh, uh, never. Oh, I wish I get some updates. Got some military stuff over here. Get lots of stuff over here. At least this shit's been fleshed out quite well enough. Usually it ain't. But I appreciate it's gonna be pretty cool. Pretty cool seeing all this stuff we got going on over here. And figuring out what the hell we're gonna do. <laughs> Let me get this shit going. Oh, I don't the board around. That's fine. Okay, the pee pee. Who gets the swin sin of grave worship? The tenet of organized religion so that Christianity are the Hebraic face of one key goal to pacify the workers of the world through grave worship. God Emperor. <laughs> Anyways. Any normal man would shove and accept the suffering they must experience in the world and believe that at the end of it all comes utopia. This promise not on any ecstasy and happiness. This is impotent impotent in these face deny that a glorious and eternal golden age will arrive as possible in the material world. Until the workers of the land of faith have become worshippers of the grave. They are unaware that in death they will find only oblivion and that immor immortality is indeed possible at this earth. Let's rectify these errors and work to dismantle the institution that casts such delusions over the world and set the proof we can build utopia for all on our own little world. If it is possible. It is probable even. we are doing the cardinal over there. Oh yeah, new generation of dreamers. I wonder if that means that, uh, I wonder if they would want that event to happen over here. Cause I think, uh, Pay on service days over here. Okay. Oh, pop it as well. Oh, no, I don't know if that's gonna work over here. Because of how this is. Yeah, now they're finding like a three farm war. I don't know, sort of shit going on over here. I'm gonna take Denmark. We're taking Denmark. And uh, yeah, we got some shit going on. It's gonna take a while for us to actually get this industry up and running, but at the very least, we're getting up into there, getting the production numbers going, the power flowing, the people moving. <laughs> revolt. Never remember what causes that. That can't happen, I think. Pretty sure. In the very least, over here we're gonna get in there fucking. Get the fucking good shit going on up in here. You see, they see capitalism, the delusion of the sport fundamentally have their source of one dispensable, despicable ideology, that capitalism. While the events of recent years have begun to peel away the head of money's wretched influence to plague the world, where we shall banish it, remnants, whatever they may be. So let it be known that this land we have carved out ourselves should be a sunny bastion against the EDC of capitalism. 
En we hebben eigenlijk de CLF gehoord. Dit is een industrialist. Nee, dat was Spain. Eh, uh, ik zie nog iets van industrialist. Je hebt even Spain, dat je hebt. Dus ik moet nog eens iedereen houden. Portugies, Portugies, en dat zie je als Italian National Social Republic. Je hebt een nationalist socialisme. Dus je hebt whatever find funny in de piece. Dus hier wordt het gewoon een soort van, je weet, getting our things on over here. Ik heb some cavalry up and running. Get one of these. We definitely gonna need some fast movement. And then though once we have the strength to do so <gasps> we will get uh proper motorized cavalry stuff. Probably infantry equipment. It's gonna take us a while over into here really. It's a long ass while. Hmm. Anyway, they need that over there. I'm gonna save my one consumer goods for when it's needed. First of all, we're getting this shit going. We're so they gave birth to us. We'll debate in the criterium. We realize that as all of humanity, we are the children of the stars. Our minds were born for the immense fire of these celestial forges. We all sustain our own astral energy, the one way or another. And it's finally the time to reclaim our birthright. From the stars we were born to the stars we shall return. We cast a challenge to our ancient forefathers as it come to time for men of the earth to wait and expand their life to the cosmos. I think a long ass while before we even get into there. But it definitely shall be an interesting little thing to do. Interesting little bits. Figure out. Jeez. Yeah, I'm tired. I could not fucking sleep last night, so I do apologize about that. If we do apologize for that shit, but at the very least, we're gonna get this shit going. Relatively, get going. We definitely won't be able to have the PP to really be able to do everything we want over here right now. So, if it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get this to work. Civil War. Where's the one? <sighs> sort of things be going on. This is a good time to save it any over here. In case I need to go back so so I can have this over here. If I decide to do Murray is Murray is fuck. Can I pronounce the words correctly? The base in the criterion. Damn. Like something to fucking wake me up over here. 
one of these days over here. I'm too, <laughs> don't get anything right now. So I'll just push on through my fucking tiredness. Anyways, when bad cards between first manifest and land upon this globe, Washington and the world run it in chaos. Perhaps it was only fitting that now, in the fact of splitting of another Washington split, split state, bad cards between the huge begin to gather to take the next step. The moon's father Alexander is fair to go a later arrival to the proceedings. The moon is tense for the next generation. Leaders argue over legacy and the stakes never higher. With the freaky tear and spits on the death, disdain is inevitability, carrying forth the standard as fair to go. Alexander Yaroslavsky had been the first to make this case for your one direction to struggle. He previously performed your the cosmos siege of Nikolai Fyodor of maximal creativity, maximal freedom, the right of all men to eternal life. So will supposedly natural boundaries in society be destroyed. By the necessity of the coming war, it was part of the period that yes, such as agriculture or poetry and art had them, revolution to rally other motives is causing free association. Of course, the other voices decry this as infantilism, risking the battle of cosmos and wigging being another smother, wigging and being another smother in his cradle. For the other wing of the movement is Valerian Mary, where you live. Another early adherent to the cause who became a heterodox theorist and analysis he gives a central issue to labor. To his followers, convinced in the city of authoritarian means the criterion must be organized top down for the coming battles. They produce materials for war into uproot backwardness where it looks. Led by scientific philosophical elite, the earthly bounds will be broken over here. Yeah, I much prefer Marion over here, but the Yosuski for terrifying freedom. A freedom most terrifying, even. Progress means nothing if it's achieved by slavers. And if the workers of the world live in misery and poverty, our endeavors in the future must be oriented around this idea. That is our goal is freedom of humanity. Now for the sake of some phony nation and dyspotic red bureaucrats. So that message ring from the plains of Manchuria. Let cover the world in glory, for the death kneel of bondage and the servitude can be heard at last. They don't hear. You can find just fine against us. What's up? Go with Faja. <laughs> Ugh, read all this shit. Read all this shit and that shit. Don't get the I'll take People's Republic. And does the state suck? Get some videos over here as well. Let's get the oil more over here just so we can get some stuff rising. Because this early war is definitely going to be hell. Definitely is going to be hell over here. I should probably read uh, his thing over here. He's already got that stuff in the here. When Nikolai Fyodorov put the idea of communism to paper in the 19th century, could he have expected such a following? In other ideas, serious citizens when the Russian the fortunes during the Russian Civil War were at the lowest. They emerged a movement intellectual known as bio communists who called for a quite an anarchist agenda of immortality. Surrounded by so much death, one can only imagine why someone like Alexander Yaroslavsky would attach himself to Svetlana's criterium and its utopian goals. Yaroslavsky, while not the paramount figure of bio communism and non RSDRP member, was a member of the Piedis cultural organization in the previous decades. Once the Republic had found an uneasy peace, he continued his role in the evangelists in the streets of Harbin, organizing poetry readings and public speeches for being people to bring people towards socialism and the fear of the common task. Yet the theme words one would expect from a man who made his first mark on Barkhad was seen with a long poem about his cryogenic preservation of the human body. Yeah, yeah, that's a everything. Yeah, really could be done through the power of technology and the human spirit. The down the world, the human spirit. Anyways, while he's far from heretical within the Vipedius cultural sphere, the Aaron Paul will probably have remained as activist were it not for the tripartite behaving at the back of the movement. The RDRP, the towards itself, was fear to go briefly indisposed in a sudden void of authority, open the center of the pub public. If fellows will remain the part of organized defense for himself, able to rely rather the masses behind it once more. Here is Scotsky become the leader of the avowed carbon state. Once more in the face of certain destruction, there is a power in seemingly impossible dreams. The greatest struggles will end with the greatest prize, the end of death and natural natural necessity through the greatest common good, and to a new terrified freedom of mankind. True freedom at last. All sorts of freedom, every freedom even. Freedom within the freedom. Anyways. Let's see, I'm a gun. Futurism. Velocity technology war. In the small detention in 1900, a huge engine began to war in Italy. And its war cry could be heard around the world with his pen of Filippo. Filippo. 
time to see how many. It's 1909 manifesto would go to an artistic school, but also a total legend, political, philosophical, ethical, that's not a remodeling in his life. He did table to the battlefield. At the same time, as the Jew interest in Italy, Europe, and beyond, his application came to identify simple political class classification. Other than anti traditionalism I will be the first of the modern ideologies to make up the core of accelerationism, though only now reckoning with the legacy of futurism. Managing the principles were a war of the past versus the attacking bourgeois morality and tradition. They try to trouble their militarism, youth, and innovation from the automobile to the airplane. At the same time, there was an elitist sensibility that founded his rhetoric, extorting superior men to heroism, convention, defying deeds. More frequently, at odds with socialism and war, the 1920s were a voice between the League of Human and the Second International. It became far more than a writer's tendency almost immediately. At first, it seduced nationalist socialists, then anarchists who sought to up in public order. I don't know, that was funny. <coughs> in Russia, futurism would even go armed with the communist scene as a society to help to liberate and uplift the masses. This utopian drive would survive the Great War, forever elevating the image of a heroic pile of our lethal shock trooper. It showed a new state in film, and Kafka was built in part by revolutionary futurists. Futurism, you mean now, tears one up at the task before remains with the whole world left to revolutionize. But how would the globe be reshaped, and under whom? Time and governments have produced a wide number of economic models on their umbrella from former. From producers of the capitalism and silicon to steam match, corporatism and communism. Will more carry carries right into the XD the total war of visionary utopia. Any other extreme truly opposed can future remain to see moment on the end where gravity always win. We shall see. Gravity ain't gonna win this time, motherfucker, I guarantee you that. We're gonna go even further beyond. These two. Freedom over here, now let's do the war against nature. I'm making a lot of saves over here, but it's entirely possible we could get screwed over depending on the circumstances. We are in a constant state of war, not only against our enemies, but against the malignant forces that surround us. Walking the treachery role we need the full coverage of, if we call full coverage. But we're pretty much structured minus brutality. What I create here is not just a free space of self creation, it's a battlefield, and every follower in a combat has a soldier. In the war against nature, we require a cunning strategy, a religious discipline, a great symmetry, and that's all. In the world of chaos, we will be the first true army of mankind's great struggle, leading to the inf infinity of its victory. Okay, so, even though we ain't all about that great worship, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna need a little bit of it, just, just a wee modicum of it. It's a weird little itty bitty tiny bits of it. It's gonna take four fucking ever to get this going. Well, that's fine. No shot dead, and it gets power. You know that power over there. I'm really going to be free to this thing. We just declare one. Everybody and get yourself. You get to that beat. Get some of that infantry equipment stuff. I get that good shit going. Go with cavalry stuff right there because we're gonna need that shift to actually you know do stuff properly. Let's see now we got two moves over here that's enlighten the bandits. The Russian Ukrainian settlers are not the only people that inherit the size of Asia in the aftermath of the collapse of the phony bourgeois republic. They are truly near the phony own little territory bands and pennants. Now that we have a little bit of this nice half watch to show the man choose a way out of the sorry state into a new enlightenment. Onwards to a utopia greater than we will ever know. We shall help them march. Now glorious we will be in using. A shiny example to the world of how we shall leave behind the superstition, the evil, the nationalism into a great new genesis. Yes, it's gonna be our nationalism. Can't be fools anyways. It's gonna be our nationalism, but Oh boy, it's gonna be a fucking thing we got going on right here. Yeah, 
Ja, dat is vierbaar. Vier maar doen, vier maar things. God damn. You got plenty of stuff for that. Plenty of stuff for that. Oh boy, this is going to be a hell of a thing we got going on over here. Oh, so stuff going on over into here. Fuck's just a fine guess. PMR. But it ain't gonna justify shit. It ain't gonna justify shit. I don't know goddamn why. Yeah, we'll do us with this over here while we're at war. Criterium of tradition, criterium of traditions. Dogmatic religion worship the practices of long dead generations that plague humanity for thousand years, even now. The whole nature of the thing buried itself naked to the water sea. But few already see it seem to abandon the practice of old, but we shall serve the world to guide night. The free this world from the inherent evils of practices of long dead ghosts. As such, let's burn the world in a purified flame so that we may birth a new utopia from the ember and ashes of a million devils and their commandants over there. God is Satan in this timeline. Interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna hear. If you go there, go here, go there. There's need for you to hold him off here. Off there. You said the reformation. I've uh, succeeded. That's fine. Who are you doing? Can't kill your thing over there. Did he? Oh, yeah, they did. Two more guys shit on us. Come on, man. Let's see traditions. Now let's do the Uni United Church of Labor. Revision recovery rate. But the people need a new idea to drive forward, a new true religion, a symbol. But religion remains in the modern world. The burning light of new knowledge has passed unmercifully judgment, merciful judgment on the superstitions of the past. It does that mean that the modern man has to remain without purpose? No. The building of humanity's common destiny shall be a new religion. In labor, in the common striving to the stars, we shall find a new god. A new gospel will be announced on every street. Every factory will become a temple. For our wise ones new, what our endeavor here really is a workshop of true divinity. That's how they came over here. From humble only the back one man, true humanity will soon rise. Humanity will soon rise to a new race of gods. Us. We instead of the Who 
Oh boy, is that gonna be a fucking thing to deal with? Let's see, yeah, we need to get some more mill stuff going on over here. This should go up, up and running over into here. It is a few more territorial losses and it shall be dead. It's gonna be beautiful just to watch. Congo is gone. Got the equipment over to here. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Here, yeah, now we got Boulder Rev's thing. I didn't even take any real territory over here, that's funny. I actually get some support equipment up under here. The alchemist of today over here, so we get that research slut. For all the talk about casting away the hideous monuments of the old world, there is one thing few know. The seed of our ideas was sown in the ancient days in the work of the alchemists of old. The, the core ideas of the green devil was carried to have transfiguration, to carry a matter to divinity, and so the first of our temple have lit up, and the heat of labor we shall ceaselessly <coughs> to we shall labor ceaselessly to create the noblest gold out of the lead of the world around us over here. Mm -hmm. Look at this. That's a restoration castle. Hey, we'll go after you too. Nice. There's some more division, visionary org. Much better over here. With that, I'm actually going to end the part over here earlier. Sorry if I'm saving over here just at this early part. With the unification wars over here before we really expand can be truly a bitch and a half over here, so I want to prepare as much as I can until then. So yeah, next time we are going to get going over here and get some uh, more lines over here and build ourselves just a wee bit more. So yeah, until then, see you guys later. Bye.